Liberia lies on the southwest coast of West Africa, a country founded in 1847 by freed American slaves. Located south of downtown Jamaica, Queens, Mamas is the only Liberian restaurant in the city, maybe the only one in the United States. The restaurant's owner and chef is Mama Kamara, who emigrated to this country sometime in the 1980s, she says, during a period of turmoil after a coup in 1980, during which Liberians of American heritage were tossed out of power for the first time in the country's history. Every day with her Liberian sous chef, David Stubblefield, Mama makes traditional Liberian food. Like most African food, it's centered on a large serving of starch, in this case, a plate of polished rice or a bowl of fufu. The fufu she makes by cooking plantain flour with rice flour, which is then kneaded to form an oblong ball. When we visited on a crisp fall afternoon, Mama had made two thick sauces to go with the fufu, one incorporating the dark green leaves of the sweet potato plant, the other made with eggplant, commonly known in West Africa as garden eggs. Both sauces are mixed meat, which means they can contain a shifting roster of ingredients that today included sun-dried fish, chicken backs and feet, goat, and cow foot. Also bubbling on the stove is pepper soup, a spicy potage made with shrimp and chicken. The finished soup is perhaps one of the spiciest dishes in New York City to be approached with caution. At our request, Mama whips up a serving of her celebrated pepper shrimp made with shell-on shrimp and hunks of crab. As she tosses in the scotch bonnet peppers, a burning haze fills the kitchen and everyone starts to cough. I asked Mama how she learned to cook back in Liberia. My father, who was a ship owner, had three wives. When my mother bore me, she gave me to one of my father's other wives, and she was the one who taught me how to cook. That wife was very strict. She would tell me how to make something and if I made a mistake, she'd make me eat the whole thing and then make it again. We left when the government started stockading people, she said sadly, remembering the time in the early 80s when she left her homeland forever. America is very lucky to have her.